Hi guys, I have a confession to make. When I don't know much about stuff, I tend to make a video and ask you guys for help. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a video about everything I know about logins. And this sort of prompted me to study um, Gorilla Sessions, the way most people do their sessions with Golang and the web. And I've even, as you can see, been asking some questions and the thing with Golang sessions, the thing that really confused me uh, is why do people use different store implementations instead of just cookie? Because like when you log in, the server sets a cookie and the cookie basically tells, um, is, is the way to maintain state to tell the stateless backend that you are who you say you are. So I thought cookie, an encrypted cookie is the way to go. And hence the store implementations really confused me, but now I think I got it. Now I understand. So I come up with this new project called internal Google login. And unlike my previous little project called internal GitHub login, this one only requires a Google login, <laughs> um, which most people have unlike GitHub, right? So it's better for norms, better for your family and all that sort of stuff. So this is the cookie one. As you can see, it sets a cookie and that's an encrypted cookie. If you mess with it, everything doesn't work anymore. And, and there's no uh, backend state. Cool. This is the way I like it. But you th you're probably thinking, why is the store thing? I'll tell you why. Think. It's because you can store more information in the backend store. The cookies are kind of notoriously limited. And secondly, you can kick a user off. So. Um, let me demonstrate that to you. I'm going to change the store to the file system store now so that everything's in foobar. So I'm going to log in and that should also create like a cookie that references the store. But now there should be this thing in the foobar directory. You see? So I'm logged in, I'm doing my thing, blah, 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 blah. And you can tell I'm logged in because of this, the title. Okay, it's not that, it's not that great, it's not so apparent. But now, with a file system backstore, backend backstore, could be in a database, could be in a Dynamo DB, I can kick the user off. The session's removed. And if I refresh this page, I'm effectively logged out. That, that, that title is gone. There's a bad cookie there. This should be called a bad session, but that would be a better error message. And now the user's logged out. So yeah, that's the reason why people have their sessions in the back end. I don't actually think I need this feature, so I'm gonna go back to cookie. I'm going back to cookie, baby. And, um, but I thought, I thought this was interesting to learn and I'm hence I'm sharing it with you. Um, and there's, there's also little other little nuances I've picked up along the way here. And um, here's a question for you. Do you think the logout handler should be post or get. I I mean I'm I'm buying for get just just so you know and um, please have a look at the source code and please use it to protect your app or to allow it something to some people using their Google OAuth. I think it's the the, the least friction for people to to authenticate to an app um, and it's pretty fast and all the rest of it. So thanks again for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, all that jazz, and see you later. Have a good weekend. Toodle pip.